Hello students, I hope you are doing well. Today, I will be sharing some important thing regarding coordination chemistry. Already I have uploaded one video that is part one of Allen's one theory. But today, in this video, I am going to discuss how you can get the appropriate idea regarding the structure prediction of coordination complex. So for that, we need to have some basic idea. What is primary valency? What is secondary valency? And which are ionized? Which are not? Okay, so let's start. Say for example, if this is K4, FeCm whole 6, K4, FeCm whole 6, this is known as complex solid. This is the example of complex solid. Why it is complex in nature? Because when it gets dissociated, it will give you 4K plus and FeCn whole 6 4 minus. So N equals to 5 here. Number of ions equals to 5. This portion is not going to be dissociated in aqueous part. It will remain like the third bracket. That is why it is known as complex. So 4K plus, that is why it is overall 4 minus. And total 4 cation, 1 anion, it will give you total number of ions 5. But if you take the example of A2SO4, Al2SO4 whole twice, 24H2O, one of crystallization is also there. Then when it will dissociate, it will give you 2K plus, it will give you SO4 2 minus, and we can get Al3 plus. That means individual ions we can get from this solid. So it is known as double salt. You can get the definition here. Double salt means what? Double salt means more than one metal atoms should be present and it will give you individual ions in the aqueous solution. But complex portion will not be dissociated in the aqueous solution in case of complex salt. Okay. So now for this iron, the central metal atom is here iron. For this iron, what is the primary valence? That is the oxidation number. That means this is 4 plus. So this portion is 4 minus. For 6 cyanide, you can get 6 minus. So iron should be plus 2 here. This is not it. Iron should be plus 2 here. 4K plus. 4 minus 6 cyanide will contribute 6 minus, so iron should be plus 2 here. That means here the primary valency satisfies the oxidation number of the central metal atom. Primary valency kya satisfy karega? Is central metal atom to get the oxidation number hai? But now come to the secondary valency. Secondary valency is the ligand again. Without metal atom, within the sphere, number of ligands are satisfying the coordination number of the central metal atom. So here the secondary valency coordination number of central metal atom iron is 6. Got it? So this idea will help us to solve different types of problems. And mind it one thing. Within the sphere, a central atom can maximum accommodate six ligands. That means its six hands should be filled up. Because we have octahedral structure, we have tetrahedral structure, we have square planar structure. 
So for square planar the hybridization would be DSP2 for square planar. Already it is explained in my VBD video. You can check it. SP3 if it is there, then it should have the structure tetrahedral if the central metal atom is sp3 hybridized and sp3 d2 or d2 sp3 will give you the structure of octahedral if it is outer orbital complex then it will give you sp3 d2 if it is inner orbital complex it will give you d2 sp3 for outer orbital complex is kiye hota hai jo weak field ligand if you have not watched it please watch it my dvd video i have explained there which are weak field ligand which are strong field ligand you will understand that so for tetrahedral and square planar the coordination number is 4 and for octahedral the coordination number is 6 Clear? So maximum ligand can be accommodated with the central atom within the sphere. That is maximum six. Okay. So let's start some example. Okay. So let's start some questions. K two Pt Cl six. You can write it down. K two Pt Cl six is there. K two Pt Cl six and we have Pt Cl four two NH three. We have another compound Pt Cl four three NH three. We have another compound Pt Cl four five NH three. You can have the question here. What is the question? Among these four, we need to arrange them according to their conductivity property in the aqueous solution. So conductivity. How can we get conductance? If three electrons are there, or if number of ions are more present in the aqueous solution, these two options are there. So we have to find out in which case number of ions will be higher. That will have higher conductance. So now we need to dissociate it. Two K plus and P P C L six two minus. How can we dissociate or how can we predict the structure of this compound? Ammonia. Is stronger field ligand as compared to chlorine. Mind it, ammonia is stronger field ligand as compared to chlorine. So two ammonia will be present within the sphere with this central metal atom. So first of all, we need to write this. If ammonia is strong field ligand, then it will not be there. वो सेंट्रल मेटल एटम के साथ कोऑर्डिनेट बॉन्ड करके रहे क्लियर और उसके साथ दो आ गया और कितना हाथ हमें सेटिस्फाई करना जरूरी है चार क्योंकि मैक्सिमम सीट कितना है एक बास के अंदर मैक्सिमम सीट कितना है सिक्स सो हाउ मेनी कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर मैक्सिमम फील्ड बाय दिस मेटल सिक्स दैट इज वाई टू एमोनिया इज देर सो रिमेनिंग हैंड शुड बी फिल्ड अप बाई दिस Chlorine ligand. So here, no ions you can see because this is fully the ligands are present within the sphere. Now come to this part. Three ammonia should be within the sphere as our previous concept. So three chlorine be रहना चाहिए maximum satisfy करने के लिए और एक chlorine extra. It has, it has the primary valence character. That means it should be present in the outside the sphere. So that's why when it will dissociate, 
it will give you PT, NH3, HOL3, CL3, HOL plus and CL minus. If someone is asking that, sir, how many AgCl will be precipitated out? Only one, because outside the chlorine, when he dissociate kar sakta hai, inside ka chlorine nahi. Samaj ga? Next, we have 5 NH3. So, 5 ke 5 NH3 rehega under, because NH3 is much more stronger field than chlorine. So, यहाँ पर एक ही place बाकी है और तीन chlorine बाहर outside the sphere. So that's why now it becomes Pt NH3 whole 5 Cl 3 plus and it should be 3 Cl minus. So here number of ions how many? Number of ions 1 plus 2 3. Here number of ions, if it is marked as 1, if it is marked as 2, 3, 4, then in case of 2, M will be 0, no dissociation is taking place. In case of 3, you can have N equals to 2 and in case of 4, you have N equals to 4 because 3 anions, 1 cations. So, conductivity order would be 4, then would be 1, then would be 3, and last will be 2. So, this is the structure. Got it? And this is the answer of this question. Next question, we have another question, similar type. That is COCl3, 6NH3, marked as 1, COCl3, 5NH3, say for example it is 2, COCl3, 4NH3, 3, COCl3, 3 NH3 and that is marked as 4. And the question is same predict the structure and arrange them in the according to their conductivity order. So, again, we need to apply same concept. How many ammonia is there? 6. So, JKJ ammonia will be in the ligand position within the sphere then CO NH3 whole 5 1 Cl will be there so outside kitna 2 total CO3 hai yaha CO NH3 whole 4 this come up 2 Cl under coordination number we need to fill maximum 6 and 1 chlorine should be outside CO, NH3, all 3 and Cl3 should be there. So there is no ion, no ion formation. In this case, one cation, one anion, is not it? Because when it will dissociate, CO, NH3, all 4, Cl2 plus one Cl minus. In this case, you will have CO NH3 whole 5 Cl 2 plus 2 Cl minus. In this case, you will have CO NH3 whole 6 3 plus 3 Cl minus. So, number of ions 2 here, number of ions 3 here, number of ions 4 here. So, I hope. You can get the arrangement of their conductivity order. So 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. I am writing this 1, greater than 2, greater than 3, greater than 4. 
Got it? We have another question. Two complexes are there. PPCL4, 2NH3, and we have PPCL4, 2KCL. And the question is given neither of these two compounds, neither this nor this, will give precipitate when it is allowed, they are allowed to react with AgNO3. If AgNO3 is given in these compounds, then none of them is giving PPT of AgCl predict the structure. So it's very easy. How can I do that? Applying our conception. So if no AgCl is being precipitated, no AgCl is being precipitated, then what is going to happen? All the chlorine should be present within the sphere. That means platinum NH3 equal to Cl4 Naam kya hoga iska? 4 minus ammonia ke liye hota hai 0 aur platinum ke liye hoga 4 Di amin tetrachloride platinum within bracket 4 Di amin tetrachloride platinum within bracket 4 and in the second case it should be K2PTCL6 why? Because it has six fluorine atoms and neither of them is giving AgCl by the reaction with AgNO3. So we can easily predict their structure and we can give the name also potassium hexachloroplatinate because if the third bracket is negatively charged then it should be added after the naming of this central atom. So potassium tetrachloroplatinate within bracket 4. If someone is asking how many number of ions you can get from this, we can get number of ions 3, 2 plus, 1 minus and from this no ion will be there. Okay, so by this type of question we can get the simple idea and we can predict the structure of the complex. Got it? More questions I will discuss about this chapter like in case of VBT regarding CFT, isomerism and IUPAC also. So keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much.